one good one's bad Yeah, they're really always like this We don't know who's who, but at least we know who Mike is They love to complain, they go sports on the brain And they frequently drive each other insane It's the good and the bad and the my yeah yeah ink The good and the bad and the my yeah yeah ink The good and the bad and the my yeah yeah ink It's the good and the bad and the my yeah 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 ink Hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Good, The Bad and The Mike. As always, I'm Oshin. That's Keen. Hello. And that's Mike. Woo! Woo indeed. Woo. Uh, Alright, I mean, let's just jump straight into it, I suppose. <laughs> um, we're going to talk about some NFL sanctioned stuff. Yeah. I uh, am unprepared for this episode, so... Joe, we are prepared for Arm Joe. Arm Joe, <laughs> the new great game. <laughs> Sponsors... <laughs> Is it sponsor the pod? Today sponsor. <laughs> Arm, Arm Joe. I think, the, I think legally Japanese we cannot limit. say that. <laughs> oh, it means fighting game that everyone wants to play. <clears throat> Yes, there is it. Is I know. And the site has a download button. Oh. It is really tempting, but it came out in 2006, the newest version. Six was like, the, yeah. Runs on Windows 95. Who knows what happens when you try and meld it with newer Windows? How long is there an app for it? Did you say, is there an app for it? Yeah, can there. I mean, I, I highly doubt it. I do doubt it. Well, that's what we've done for the last half an hour when we were supposed to be talking about the podcast, so... That is true. Um, I don't remember why we didn't do an episode last week. You were away? Mike was away? No. No, she I was away. away. I was in Hungary. Oh, yeah. she was oh, away. Was Hungary, yes. Yes. I was, Hungary. Well, I was yes. with you on the weekend, kid. Both days. I knew someone was away, but for some reason I thought it was you. I, I Apologies. just blanked on last weekend completely. <laughs> I was, I so I was to, hungry. I was actually I was dead, checked one. the Discord to see if we had done an episode last week. <laughs> Passed Jesus. out for the hunger. <laughs> um, yeah, Formula 1 was class. class. I had no idea what was going on for that entire race, except for... Um, text updates from my sister who was watching it in a pub in Belgium <laughs> 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 who she's a big Ferrari fan uh, so about halfway through the race I, I assume they must have said something about rain on the commentary because I got a the Ferrari were ahead of Red Bull anyway and uh, I got a text from her going please God tell me it's not raining and it wasn't <laughs> <laughs> and after a while Ferrari fucked up and Red Bull were ahead, and she texted me again and said, "Please God, tell me it's raining." It still wasn't. It please, please what did? Because even like I know very little about Formula One, and I'm not saying I'm smarter than the Ferrari strategy team. You probably are. Well, cool. yeah, watching them race, I was like, I feel like this is a bad idea. Oh yeah, like I don't know. Like in almost all of their races recently, like it's been pretty shocking. Given how it started for them, it really has. Um, they just... I did see Formula One <clears throat> put up a thing on YouTube. It's like top five battles between uh, Charles and Max this year. And I... five. I feel, like, I feel like every race, one of them has crashed, and usually it's Charles. Do you remember the way Charles crashed in the French Grand Prix? Uh-huh. Um, and like the French Grand Prix, Paul Ricard, uh, there's so much... like runoff area on the tracks and yeah. someone tweeted like i can't believe charles crashed there you could fucking t like <laughs> you could take off a plane there with all the runoff area and someone I... tested that theory on flight simulator <laughs> and they <laughs> could take off a plane with that much run area paul ricard looks like the worst is the thing i've ever seen because it, it's like a billion tracks rolled into one and i'm I just like how is this not confusing so much yeah I'm annoyed that it no longer has the Zoom sponsor this year because I realized that's where the audio subtitle came from last year. One of my favorite memes of all time. They, uh, oh, when you put on the audio subtitles on Formula One, it just has all the Zoom hoardings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that was a good one. Solid. But yeah. Uh, I mean, the championship's over. We're only at the summer break, but the championship's over. Verstappen's won it. It'd take Verstappen to go full Charles on it to uh, draw I Charles think back in. If Verstappen comes second in every race from now until the end, he he's, wins it anyway. And that was the case before Hungary, and then he won Hungary, so I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Which yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a mess. I was and also this... really annoyed. Uh, was it Ocon finished first at the last practice and then finished twentieth? That was Latifi. One? Nicholas was Latifi. Was it Latifi? <laughs> who also? <laughs> can we just say like this is really impressive because Latifi has never, never gotten out of. He's the only driver this year not to have gotten out of Q three. No. And then he said, I think it was on his last lap in Q three, purple sector one purple sector two yellow sector three and didn't it <laughs> didn't <laughs> still finish 20th oh my god <laughs> um for those who don't know purple sectors are when you're faster than everyone in that third of the track so he was faster Jeez. than everyone in the first two sectors and they just threw it all the way um yeah there's a lot of drama going on with mclaren actually at the moment have you, I don't know if you see. It they... sounds like sounds like a future episode of the pod to me. Yes. Yeah, oh yeah, I, I I wasn't I was enjoying all the drama about that the the Formula Two driver Oscar and Piastri. All that. Piastri, yeah, yeah, that was that was a shit show and a half. It's still going so on. Maybe no one really do that next week. Going on with the... That's actually not bad one too for for next week. Yeah. Might have more news by then. Yeah. All right. You heard it here first, <coughs> folks. Next week's episode. Probably about that. Unless you might get surprise it. released on Monday. Oh. You never know. Maybe. Um, all right, but anyway. Give me your ocean. You've yes. been very consistent without me or Mike reminding me to remind you, so. Do you know what's Fair great? Plan. Is that I, because I'm going to the office every day, instead of just doing it manually on Tuesday, I use the uh, publish at a set time oh so it's, it's pretty great pretty handy that that is quite nice so that's why it's been more consistent Smooth. um yeah anyway we were going to talk about nfl sanctions so yeah we're yeah. getting there so i suppose let's move on to that um mike you had a plan on where to start, so work away. <laughs> I, I guess we'll start with the, the least big of the three big suspensions that happened this year, and Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley, solid number one receiver for the Atlanta Falcons. He took, he made the headlines last year when he took mental health leave. Yes. I feel like we talked about it at the time. Did we have the I think it definitely would have been in the news. Yeah. Yes, probably yes. would have been in the news. Now, however, during his leave of absence away from the team, he started taking so he started betting on some of the games. And keeps informed me this is a big no no in the NFL. Massive no no. It's the worst thing that can physically happen to the NFL. Especially because I think. One of his bets was on his own team. He, also, he definitely tried not betting on the Falcons or on get Falcons games, but I heard a lot of bit of Cuba letters as well. Yeah, I hear they on mm. Cuba. Like the jokes go that some of these bets are the reason for the fight itself is because they were so bad. But he's been suspended for a whole season, so he will not yes. play football this year. Yes, and yeah, like it's I expect like. Why it's so terrible for the NFL is if if he gets away with it and people find out that he gets away with it, then that causes serious issues for other players trying to do the same thing while either playing in a game or having an effect on an outcome of the game. And that is pretty much the worst thing that can happen in any sports league is have any kind of ties with match fixing. I don't think there was anything like that here, but it's not far away from it happening. One of his bets was a 481 to 1 parlay that could have paid $144,300. I mean, yeah. 
It's also real bad for the gambling companies because in theory he should have more information than them. So he should be able to gamble smartly. Doesn't look like he did, but he so, should. What should I mean? He was the same. He was suspended for betting stupidly, not yeah, smart. Yes, he was yeah, he, he did it terribly. <laughs> he got caught. So but I yes. think a year is fair because it it kind of like no NFL player needs to take cash. He was doing it for the crack. So yes. if they know they can get suspended for a year, it's a yeah. heavy deterrent. So at the moment. He is the biggest suspension of the three yes. we are going to talk about at the moment. Which is a bit of a, bit of a joke. But, but yes. I will point out that his um, is different. Uh, oh, yes. His is a lot the, different. The, All no, no, no. I mean, I mean uh, his. if you're comparing himself and Deshaun, the two players, Deshaun was the first one to use the new system with the judge. Yes. So Calvin Ridley was essentially just how Roger Goodell was feeling on that day. Fair <laughs> And so Goodell, to, Goodell do, do have to make tweet. it a, an example of uh, something like Calvin Ridley's pet. Yes, it would be interesting to see now if Calvin Ridley can try to get like an appeal through the judge, the judge, and be like, "Well, you know, Goodell clearly hates me. Let's see what what she has to say." Yes, well, we will see. But it is funny. Of the three we are talking about, they are all quite <coughs> uniquely different. Yes. <laughs> That is very fair. So, I think the next one is the Dolphins owner, Stephen Ross. Yes. So, this story, for those of you that don't know, Stephen Ross is the owner of the Miami Dolphins. And this story came out a while ago. I think we broke into the story when we were talking about Brian Flores. We, you we, we, we Yeah. We did a bit on NFL like firings on like Black yes. Monday, didn't we? Somewhere in there, and I think we discussed it when talking about B-Flow. Yes. For those you don't know, B-Flow was the manager of the Mile Dubs, who was then sacked. Uh, no, not sacked. He was sacked. He was sacked. Then, I remember, he yeah. then got a text from Bill Belichick, the Patriots, saying, "Congrats on getting the job at the Giants." Only to realize that he hadn't interviewed for the job yet. <laughs> and that they I gave it to a different that. Bill. <laughs> uh, Brian, they gave it to a different Brian. <laughs> Incredible. Oh. Oh, Belichick, just top tier shenanigans right there. Yeah, Belichick, pure. <clears throat> he was getting one over on the Dolphins, just going, I'm going to wreck their shit and just ch ch cause chaos. Oh my god. And then, Brian Flores had a big rant at the NFL, came back swinging, and made several accusations on the Dolphins, one of which was that Stephen Ross was paying him to lose games. Yeah, there's a set fee of we'll pay an extra, like, like 100 grand, 150 grand. Yeah, 120 for each loss. Yeah. And also that there was illegal tampering going on with a certain Tom Brady. So for after him to him, become player slash coach... Slash manager. Wait, no. no player, player slash, slash coach yeah. slash no, no, owner. No, no. The Jackie Moon thing was <laughs> yes. after. Jackie Moon oh, was no. after. <laughs> he wanted so, the Jackie Moon. No. So, obviously, Did the best. Do you not want to see Tom Brady fight a bear? No. I want to see Tom Brady fight a bear. <laughs> I would love to see Tom Brady fight a bear. <laughs> well, after the investigation was taken, they deemed, which I think is a bit bullshit, that yes, he said it, that I'll pay you to lose games, but he said it as a joke. Which I'm like, that's a bit stupid now. Said it as a he joke. said it jokingly. <laughs> I said, I'll pay you more if you lose. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Like, but... Yeah, go on. I just said, I was reading something funny on online today about how this has all come down on him. And, like, there wasn't anything said to, like, Sean Payton or... Tom Brady, who are like somewhat yes. willing participants in the tampering. This, this the thing I, I was gonna get on to. Right. So, uh, they then did the investigation and found out that Tom, they not only did they approach Tom Brady illegally once, they did it twice in a <laughs> row after each season. I mean, and nothing when, happened the first time. So, so 2019, they did it, and this, this one, it hits me close to home. Cause the 2019 season. 
if he's talking to Dolphin straight away, it was in my mind, he's set to leave already. This isn't a thing. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. And that tarnishes his legacy a bit for me. Yeah. Uh, ah, look, it's one team, but when it's a division rival that he knows, oh, shit, it's, it's it's a bit of a tarnish. I'm not saying it's I a mean, full tarnish, it's still a tarnish. Yeah, but I feel like you're, you you already have big issues with him going to the books. So. Oh, I had issues. I say I, I have issues with that. That's fine. He left have us you, at our worst. Have you looked at I, your I've jersey since? Hmm? Have you taken the jersey the out of the closet since? Okay. I did. I did once, but then had to put it back when he un un retired. <laughs> <laughs> I went, not today. Not today, my old friend. Not today. Weren't you giving out when we went to the NFL? And you were like, oh, that girl over there is wearing a Brady jersey. Yeah. She's How dare Take she? it off. <laughs> How dare she? <laughs> it's Mama back now. <laughs> oh, but, uh, God. So, the Dolphins approached Brady in 2019. Which then makes me think that this it's one of the reasons why he ended up at Tampa was he was already had his mindset he was going to Florida and sold it to his his <laughs> wife that he's going to Florida. But not Jacksonville. And then he probably saw what was going on with thinking maybe Brian Flores was like, no, I don't want him. Or something went, nope. Maybe went to the books. But then after winning the Super Bowl with the book, apparently they had another chat again. <laughs> <laughs> and the idea was he would, which he did. He ended up retiring, and the idea was he would then be brought in as an an owner, part shareholder, owner <laughs> of the Miami Dolphins, which would then he would mandate and put himself in an ability to play. Incredible. Yes. So he would be <laughs> playing as Jackie Moon, yeah, full on <laughs> Jackie Moon, and that would get away from his contract in the book so they wouldn't have to trade anything for it because he's kind of an owner and he's making a decision on his club part that's his job i don't know if that it's a weird works. thing that's how they were selling yeah. it it was jack okay the thing to take away from it is he was jackie moon again <laughs> that so... semi pro is a great film i need to rewatch it yeah so there's two of that they also did also did it with sean payton and the saints and apparently they had the talks with Peyton prior to Peyton retiring, and as soon as Peyton retired, then asked the Saints, hey, yeah, can we talk to him officially now? <laughs> just what's coming out. So My once again, about that tampering. Is that I just found a tweet from a guy called Barry Jackson. He's a reporter. Um, he tweeted a few days ago, when I asked Dolphins officials about, that, uh, about talking to Peyton in June, uh, the Dolphins official said the team would never be dumb enough to tamper with Peyton without permission. <laughs> but, turns out they were. Yeah. I mean, it, I think it's a good fit, you know. Uh, Sean Peyton's been, you know, suspended in the past for that's paying a people to hit though. people, to injure yeah, that's people. A bounty, that bounty gate's a totally different thing. Yeah, I mean, clearly they enjoy paying people. So... You know, but, uh, I just love that story so much. Yeah, so... You know he coached his son's high school team that year he was off? What a good chap. <laughs> Going to get two. <laughs> I mean, in terms of all the bad things that have happened to you, Bounty Gate, I think, is the least significant. I oh, don't know, it's weird. For those that don't know, Bounty Gate was the Saints board were paying their players a bonus for what injury they caused the opposing yeah, team. Yeah, it was like they had like a shopping list and like if you cause like X injury you got paid that about it. It wasn't it, it was like scaled, I think. Mm. And uh, that's that's weird. In the words of another Will Ferrell sports movie, break someone's <laughs> collarbone. That's what the paramedics are for. <laughs> Otherwise they're just bored sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Like more acceptable, I think, in American culture. I well, <clears throat> this one that I played it once uh, in a lacrosse tournament somewhere abroad. Uh, he said his goal for the tournament was to injure someone so bad that it ended their tournament. And I was like, that's a Jesus weird goal Christ, to have. Yeah, a... yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is a bit weird. So I don't know if it's more something that I they do. 
That is the complete opposite to what I have when I go on to football pitch. It's to not end my own career after 20 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> you got one limb okay. left, Mike. I think you're fine. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> I just love that. Like, when you did do your elbow in, you played off. <laughs> <laughs> like this this also happened in a lacrosse match the first lacrosse match i refereed uh afterwards i was talking to mm-hmm. the lad i was refereeing with we were like oh that went fine he went yeah, yeah yeah and we walked off the sideline and about a minute later someone ran up to us and was like how's uh how's the guy getting on who went to hospital and we were like someone went to hospital they're like yeah guy dislocated his shoulder I was like, how did a guy dislocate his shoulder and no neither referee knew it <laughs> and then I found out afterwards that he dislocated his shoulder and hobbled off. And what I told us, I remember seeing him hobble off holding his arm. I went, oh, at that point, yeah. Okay, yeah I didn't see it, Jeff. <laughs> I thought, what do you mean? You so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how 100%. Yeah, we were like, how? I'll tell you, it's just the, when the adrenaline's kicking and you just don't know. And it was also the fear of God of, I can't go off. I've just come on the embarrassment. <laughs> yeah, that, I that gotta last the two minutes. I was scored as well, which would have been great, but now <laughs> would have been worth it. Yeah, it went up for a corner, and it was one of those where you know when you see the balls up in the air and it's just coming down, and you know it's just gonna come to your. It's coming to you. Yes. You just know it's. So I'm sitting there in the air waiting for it to come down. And I'm like, I got this. This is my moment. What am I gonna do? Am I gonna head it or am I gonna yeah. try and follow it? I'm going to myself, I think I'm going to head it. And when I mean head it, I'm just going to close my eyes and hope to God it bounces off my head and in. <laughs> but I'm sitting Jeez. there going, I got this, I got this. Next thing, I just see our captain, the center half, running, and I'm like, no, no. <laughs> I just big <laughs> fucking leap for it. And he times it so much that it hits his head and goes over me, and I'm like, there it goes. There's my chance. <laughs> Oh, I'd like I, to think it that would have been my motion. retirement there, saying, yep, I score, do the celebration is to take me off, I go off with a broken elbow, and I ride off into the sunset. <laughs> oh, he's doing that broken again. elbow celebration. Very good, Mike. That's Very it. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, going back to, yeah, <laughs> back to the, the Dolphins. The Dolphins. So, their vice chairman... And limited partner Bruce Beal was fined five hundred thousand dollars and ordered not to attend any league meetings for the rest of the season. Um, their owner Stephen Ross is suspended through October seventeenth. So the next yes, game he's games. allowed to attend is the Dolphins Steelers game, uh, and former head coach Brian Flores, who we talked about, is with the oh. Steelers. Oh, oh, oh. grudge but, match but does that mean that one of the minority owners uh, are going to have to start showing up to the games because that's some list uh, it, oh it apparently not the two, Ceri- the two Williams sisters and Fergie are all minority owners of the Miami Dolphins yes. fair place for Alex Ferguson really diversifying his portfolio there you know <laughs> I assume you had the other Fergie the other Fergie <laughs> yes yes I'm sure she well, honestly, think this whole Fergie. thing is Fergalicious, to be fair. Honestly, That's it true. was a fifty fifty on which one you meant. Yeah. I, I, I know, wasn't sure but... which But uh, <laughs> no, I, mean, I was at least reading you that could it's... call Sir Alex Ferguson Sir Alex Ferguson. What else do you call Fergie? Sir Fergie. You call him Fergie. He's always been known as Fergie. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying like if you're trying to specify if you're trying to name Fergie without trying to get confused with Sir Alex Ferguson, <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you do it? You know? <laughs> I think Sir Alex, yeah. Fer- Sir Alex Ferguson is Fergalicious as well, to be fair to him. Yeah, he, <laughs> he is quite Fergalicious. Petition from now on, when a goal scored in, in at a time, it's Fergalicious time. <laughs> <laughs> None of this Fergie time anymore, it's Fergalicious time. But, uh, yeah, so the suspension was the six games, as she said. The Dolphins were also... Uh, had their first round pick and a third round pick taken hey, uh, off them. Is it first round this year and then is it the third yeah. round future or is the third round this uh, year as well? Future third round. Right. And then yeah. also he was fined one point five million. Now, Jesus. I think this is a very light suspension. Uh, light punishment in general. As the one point five million to him is literally nothing. I think I was listening somewhere. He was making one point five million almost a second every a lap 
in the form yeah, of every one. lap, yeah. So this means nothing to him. Uh, picks, I've seen picks taken for far worse. Yeah, I mean, considering Dan Schneider got like a ten million dollar fine for something, what he oh sexual harassment, other workplace misconduct. Yes. Hmm. Trying to scale it here. I mean, the like, Dan Schneider higher things... than one point five mil million, but <laughs> the Dan Schneider things, all that did was get John Gruden on a different team fired. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he got fired from a Washington <laughs> investigation. <laughs> Didn't even involve us. Yeah, he's, in, he's just in there going, what am I doing in this? I uh, just got here. What's going on? Yeah, so... <laughs> who knows? Light suspension. Gets off. He doesn't have to go to the games. He can watch it on his yacht. Oh, no. I, have I know. To watch the, the games on my yacht. How terrible. So, uh, Keen, I think you're best fit to take this next one. Or we'll leave it there. Yo, you <laughs> the <system>. under the <laughs> bus. <laughs> right. uh, I, mean, I feel well, like Pino, yeah. she couldn't do this justice. It's his think team anyone after anyone could do it justice. Under the yeah, bus. Yeah, regret. Like... Mistakes have been made, but this is where we are. Uh, right. So. A year ago. Uh, it came out that there was, at the time, not that many uh, suits against Deshaun Watson for sexual misconduct, inappropriateness while getting massages. Uh, and that's now up to like 26, even though 24 of them have been resolved. So oh, there's so much even. But well, anyway, long story short, he's been traded to the Browns. Why? Nobody knows. For too much? Definitely. Are they paying him too much? Also, definitely. But he's pretty good at football. And, uh. I mean, he so was now, pretty good at football over he probably a still year is. ago. He hasn't played yet. He hasn't played a year to play. Yeah. Yeah. And so, because of the NFL, uh, which called Players Association, collective bargaining agreement, Roger Goodell is no longer the judge, duty, and execution, and all that stuff. They have a third, uh, separate independent body which is former judge Sue Red is it Redborn is that who that is? Sue That's the name I have in my Robinson. head. Robinson. Sue Robinson. <clears throat> and she took her time and got like apparently real into it. And Sean's team wanted like four to six games. Goodell wanted a year suspension. Uh which is why I think it's kind of applicable to like the Calvin Ridley because Calvin Ridley got the full year and Sean wanted to give him yeah. a full year so you're kinda of like okay that Kind of makes sense. Um, While we're into it, this, uh, yes. sorry to interrupt, there was another thing which I saw. Yeah. He was he was offered before it went to this a 12 game suspension, was the offer. And, and the reason for it. Fine. Yeah. And the reason for it was they do not want this week 12 game for the Browns is the Texans. And <laughs> they do not want that because naturally that would be the headline everywhere. Would be Deshaun, yeah. Deshaun, Deshaun, because it's his former team. They I mean, it's bad to enough to play Baker, Baker week one of the regular yes. season. But the news so would be about Baker. Drama. This would just be Deshaun, the whole thing. And the NFL does not want that. So that's yeah. why they, they agreed 12. But since, as you go on, that wasn't the case with Sue. Yeah. I so... think it's also worth noting, just yes. while we're discussing um, Sue Robinson's judgment, that. For some, I haven't seen the reason behind this, but I keep seeing reports that she was only able to, or the NFL only, like, took four of the however many cases, twenty something yeah. cases. Yeah. So she was only seven. able to base her ruling Opinion. on those yeah. four cases and not the twenty other cases. Yes, I I'm not sure exactly how they picked those cases. It was just a particular for, um. Yeah, so I knew her decision, I think, based primarily on, apparently, that it was a non-physical or non-violent thing. Non-violent. Non-violent, non yeah. Yes. It probably was physical, non-violent 
that it came back at a six game suspension, which even to me seems a little bit light. Um, uh, it's light, but she is going on. That is the precedent set by the NFL. Is that is exactly what Ben Roethlisberger got with his sexual allegation suspension? Was six yeah, games. Yeah. But so that's she's the point going of, of, yeah. of her to set new precedents. Yes, she's going, going on forward. I think she was saying. I think some of this report was she was saying. Even though I agree with the NFL, all these points, she hasn't been given a precedent by the NFL as to what. So she can only go by what was given, is what I've read into. That would make sense, but I feel like they should have set new precedents with the new they system. Have, but obviously um, this is the first big case of this system. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be interesting. Obviously the NFL are now appealing, which according to Mike means that he can play it, which... As far as that's what I read. Is what I that this is what I read and this is what two people have said is basically because the appeal is there, the decision is he is allowed to take the suspension can't happen while this is happening. He is still technically think the punishment hasn't been set, so he is allowed till the punishment is set and since there's an I appeal I kind of get that, but that he's allowed. Weird. Right. But also I've seen nothing about there being an appeal. All the the hey, it's no, I've seen a few yeah, things. Yeah. Bell have appealed. The NFL they had, the but all they had the a particular stuff that time I had they, seen yeah. was that her ruling is just like a recommendation. It's not an actual it, judgment. Yes, that's also confusing is that. But they also don't want to... Um, they want her to make the ruling. They can't just say it's whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. But then if, if that happens and Goodell comes out and goes, no, fuck that, it's a year. Yeah. Then it's like, what's so, the fucking point of yeah, having her so in the first what's, place? Yeah. Cause so what's happening... Pro Football yeah. Talk said that uh, her ruling... Essentially gave the commissioner everything he needs to impose any punishment he chooses, which seems oh, insane. But I also saw that he's yeah. not the one making the decision. He's essentially farmed well, it out to someone else mm. in the NFL. So, yeah. Yeah. So what has happened is she has done it. And in her statement, and she said, she pretty much goes to town. And shot a yes, this, 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 this. Yeah, I find you for this. I find you for this. However... With the precedent that has been given to me and the thing, and it being non-violent, I can only give six games. Is her thing? Get a felt that want that because obviously it's as I said, the week twelve game against Texans would mean he'll be able to play that game. A very light punishment. The NFL will be afraid of the public backlash, which is happening. Yeah, because everyone's like, Jesus, that's light. It's also and, magically. Yeah. Magically, you can point this out. I'm not saying conspiracy theory or anything like that. Oh, um, but just all the out. big games uh, come after. No, I was going to say that the Patriots are the six games. I think she only wanted five, and then Bill's like, no, let's stretch that. Just... <laughs> God, the Bill, is super... <laughs> Bill is Sue Robinson. Changed my mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, but, uh, the evidence is so there. Do your own the research. The problem is, though, because this is first time this case happened, it gives Goodell's in an awkward spot where he's made her decision, but he, he can't have this, so now effectively it goes back to him. The ball's back in his court, even though he's yeah. passed it on. I'll have appealed, meaning it's now back to him, him to decide. Me too. And he you. Become Me too. judge, jury, and yes, good old Raj. And if he delegates it once again, then once the next person says, oh yeah, also six games and they're going to keep doing it. So I think it's just going to be easy to say, yeah, I'm just going to give it a year. That's it. That's that's very likely. So on this note, right? So we've signed four quarterbacks this year. Got rid of it one. Got rid of Baker. Signed four. Uh, obviously, the plan was that Jacoby Brissett was going to start against Deshaun. Wasn't going to yes. play. Even though we signed Josh Rosen, God knows why. And Joshua Dobbs, God knows why. Apparently, we were working out Colin Kaepernick today. For I bit. heard that too. Nice. So... <laughs> Yeah. I think the cap thing is to the tear from the Nashad things. I know? Yeah, that, that would make some sense. Just, hey, look over there. <laughs> now, so, the worst uh... thing that can happen... Yeah, so the worst thing that can happen is that the Kaepernick haters and the Watson haters combine to form mega haters of the team. That will be pretty bad. Mecha haters. The mecha haters. <laughs> 
the issue but, is, yeah, it goes obviously... To be fair, that's a little bit better than the sorry ass Browns, the mecha haters. I'm just putting it out there, you know? Changing their image. <laughs> I mean, whoa, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Maybe that's an image you don't want, Peter. <laughs> just realize what we said. That's pretty bad, too. <laughs> yeah, so they're just like, do you think this is a bad idea? No, I don't think so. I think we're good. The issue is, that's obviously, so like, we feel... Oh, well, yeah. I think we're all in agreement that he should get... Like at least, well, much longer than six games anyway, at least. I mean, I'm a little bit torn, but I was never on board with this getting the Deshaun thing anyway. This is. I think it's also a case of where it's bad for Brad's fans. The contract he got meant, even though they knew this was coming, they paid him so he still doesn't lose that much money for the year, regardless yeah. of the suspension. But the issue is that there's there's people who don't give a shit about what he did like there's videos of him getting mobbed for autographs after practice like literally within the last week yeah like there's so many people that just don't care um yeah yeah is insane but like people are yeah. morons I'm also Absolute just morons. he's just a bad fit for us I think it's gonna be a shit show he'll be gone within a year guaranteed I fucking hope so. I I don't. Do you think you drop him? I don't think you trade him off. I there's think no, you'll get I happy. Don't think there's unhappy. any way you trade him off with that yeah. much money. That's very true. But see, the problem is, is that when you're a run first team and Deshaun Watson wants to throw the ball forty times a game, can't do both. Yeah, that's fair. So, uh, uh with Chubb, with Chubb's contract coming up, maybe it is a trade. I mean, first, particularly with apparently Cream Hunt has to be traded today. That's a bit scary. Not a fan I, of that. Um... I am a big fan of the timeline of Deshaun gets suspended for a year, comes back next year, hasn't played football in two years, and it's just complete dog shit. And I don't want Browns that to happen. To, I mean, yeah, as a Browns fan, I can understand it, but like, yes. you still have to pay him all that money, even if he's shit. See, I think, yeah, the but biggest... then maybe maybe then Josh Rosen will come real good because he's never gotten a chance, and then, yeah, but then you know, he got to tell he'll want money, and you won't have the money because you're paying but then you give it all to Deshaun. At this point, I'm hoping Deshaun's gone, but yeah. No, yeah. no, I, I have heard that Josh Rosen is happy to play for just food and accommodation. <laughs> <laughs> just happy to be here, coach. Yeah. I mean, oh my God. His ego's I taking a hit. Say, I know what happens. Picture it okay. now. Playoff things. Rosen's dirt. Deshaun suspended. Jacoby Brissett's just disappeared somewhere. Music starts playing. Could it be magic now? Ryan Fitzpatrick finally becomes a Brown. Oh, God. I thought you were going to say, wait, is that Baker's music? And he just comes no. in with a microphone and goes, I'm home. This is my <laughs> home. No, no. You, you burnt that Baker bridge. I know. So, I want him back. So I'm shocked much. you She's traded most... him. I thought you I, just um... let him. I just said, here, Baker, look. Just stay here for the year. We did. He clearly didn't want to be there. No, and, and we're to be still fair, paying also like most of his contract. Really didn't I think. want him. Yeah, but now like, what are we gonna have? Where's the at home with Baker Mayfield? Maybe they'll do Is it one gonna of just him move to Carolina? Changing homes. Yeah, changing homes with Baker Mayfield. Yeah, I can't imagine at home with Deshaun Watson is as good of an ad <laughs> campaign. No. Now I did see, and I don't know if it was a <laughs> meme or it just happened to be a massive coincidence. The National yes. Massage Convention. Was in Cleveland. Oh my god. This year. <laughs> now, I don't know. It's that the oh, biggest coincidence. No. That has to be time. a coincidence. I mean, I don't know what it is. Who just makes a convention in Cleveland? But do you know what my favorite part of this is? I don't know if this is a meme or true, but I, it might be true. That now John has to get all massages through the team. I heard you uh, Athletic it, trainer. That's it. Sue Robinson yeah. has implemented that. Has to yeah. have Cleveland have to organize it. Yes. That's so bad. I mean, no, it, that's, can't yeah, that's so bad, but also National the Texans did of have American cover it up. Yo, yes. Yeah. So. Uh, also, guys, can't, break, can't confirm the AMTA, <laughs> the American Massage Therapy Association, we was had a convention, the largest and most prestigious event in massage therapy profession, was in Cleveland, Ohio, <laughs> August 25th to 27th, 2022. But, but when did they organize it? They organized it a month ago? Bit suspicious. Oh, no. Two years no, ago? I think it... Less so. 
Oh, it was definitely organized a while ago. Could I? Uh, I did you say was in Cleveland, Ohio? Yeah, it just and then finished. Give dates in the wait. What did you? <laughs> what dates did you give? Oh, it is now. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming now. Yeah. I don't know why. I think it's August. It's late it August. It is August. Oh, my God. It was in August. Two weeks from now. Yeah. Two weeks from now. So Not bad. Yeah. I was, I was like, <laughs> we gonna be? We gonna be on the shot watch? <laughs> I feel like someone should be. Someone has to be. One hundred percent. That is someone's job for that week. Hundred <laughs> percent. The guy. There's some. Some guy has just joined the Browns organization. Like, oh boy, what's my first time? You're literally here with a bottle of water, and you're gonna spray the <laughs> shot if he comes anywhere near it. <laughs> oh god, this is so bad. Okay, yes. how many? How many people will show up in Watson jerseys at this event? Ugh. Someone who hasn't watched the news in a while, I think. Oh, so bad. All right. I think I, we can I, leave it I there. don't have anything more to say about Deshaun Watson. No, I, no yep. I'm just trying to pretend like this whole thing isn't happening. We'll see how keen he is in the offseason. But... We'll see how keen he is halfway through the year. <laughs> but who's going to bring the cheese to the book club meetings now? There's so many unanswered questions. But Debbie will now house cheese. book club. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, can I buy these? These are my pads. They can be. <laughs> oh, he should have just quit becoming it's an actor. A, it's and ironic. Man's, man's made for comedy. It is ironic that the the home set one was the last Baker ad we saw. The which one? The home. The garage sale. Oh fuck! <laughs> it really yeah, gets home now. Bad. It does, doesn't it? All right. On yeah. that depressing note, we'll leave Let's it there. Leave it there. Um, thanks for listening. Fuck the system. No and feed the algorithm. Have a good one. <laughs>